Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 656 of Fallout 4. The last episode, we were messing around the West Roxbury Station, still getting confused by some things. Oh yeah, that's, that's right, this is Shane. Getting confused by some of the things in the maze, but it turns out, I was basically right, but I got stuck. Not, again, sure if power armor or just really silly stuff, but yeah, I was messing around with the buttons here just to, you know, try to figure some things out. Let me, let me bring the train back. Messing with, messing with some buttons. There's also an area over there to that side, which I still haven't figured out how to get to. But apparently, I was I was right in the, the sense that all I needed to do was go over here. Remember how I like tried to go around the train? I tried to go to the side of the train, and I got stuck. I got stuck in my power armor. I think I even, yeah, I got stuck without my power armor. But apparently the way you're supposed to go is just over here to the left. Like, you know, I tried, but... You see, I got stuck, and I, I tried coming up here, then I ended up getting stuck again. It's like, not sure if power armor, but it, like it's really not letting me... I'm actually being pushed backward. Uh, come on! Come on! Uh, uh, this is janky, not sure if this is intentional. Someone there! No, no one's here. Who level are you? Oh, damn, that explains it. I'm gonna shoot you in the face, then. <laughs> this doesn't sound too happy. But I legit just walked down here, but I got stuck, so I turned back. And it makes sense, because, you know, they put the flickering light here, like, hurdy dur, you're supposed to go over here. Um, I, I don't know what that's about, but if you ask me, that seems a little unintuitive. But anyway, nonetheless, we're where we need to be, it would appear. But yeah, like, I, I came here, but I just, I legit got stuck, and I figured, oh, hey, the game probably didn't want me to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We're where we need to be. So I ain't gonna sweat it. I did get a comic book last episode, so that was pretty pretty darn cool. Extra uh, ability to pick them locks. Make some easier. Tumblers today, man. Somebody's in here, yeah. Oh, you're legendary. Hold on. I want to weaken you. I want to mutate you. Get a grenade. I want to crit him in the face. I thought I backed in the Cosworth was a tire. Oh, no, never mind. You're already almost dead. I was gonna cut him in the face with a Gauss cannon. So sorry, buddy. I thought you had more health than that. Cri Ooh. Oh, no, no, it's not kneecapper. I thought it was. I thought it was kneecapper kind of for a second. Shit, fifty percent more limb damage. That's actually pretty cool. That's a pretty good prefix. But I was thinking, I was thinking an automatic weapon with kneecapper, and it would. Uh, what is it? Fifty percent chance or whatever. Twenty ten. There's a percent chance to. Uh, just cripple your enemy when you hit them. I was thinking, ooh, an automatic weapon with that ability? Man. You just be sending crippling shots down range and I still I still want to see the day I could cripple a behemoth and then have them just not be able to hit me. Hey, Codsworth is here. Good. Need to give him some stuff here shortly. My inventory is probably close to, to full. There's always a use for a human pelvis, Codsworth. You just need to know how to use it. I mean, that that's all I'm gonna say to that. Yeah, it's really weird. Like, I'm kind of, I'm almost annoyed slash miffed that, yes, I was pretty much doing it right, but on the same token, it was so, eh, that it wasn't really clear that that was what you were supposed to do. Hold on, is there something back there? No. I always think that that little bit of debris is a hollow tape. I don't know why. I mean, I guess I know why, but I always think that's true. But clearly it's not. Is this going to loop up to the chain door? Because if it does... I'm gonna go back to the trains that are down there and see if I can walk along the other side path to get to where that loot was that I wanted to get, but I didn't get. Like, I saw it, I knew it was there, but I didn't pick it up because I, I flew over there using TCL just to check. Like, I was wondering if that was intentional. Then I came back. Hey, there's a trap on that door, I can see it. Doesn't, doesn't, does, there's no chain on it though. Is that the same door? It would make sense if it was. We've gone up quite a few stairs. Uh, no loot there. All right, well, let's make sure we hit that first. Oh, well, it looked like a trap. Huh. I thought it was one of those little um, explosions that's on the door. Is that the barring? Or is that just, like, decorative? It's just decorative. Sorry, doggo. Yeah, you're not legendary. I'm just going to shoot you in the face. God, I love the radium rifle. The, uh, the, the cool little revolver could not have done that damage. So it looks like it was two doggos and a super mutant. This is not the same room. There's the chain. Okay. So it does full circle. That, wow. To me, that was really strange. That was a really unintuitive way to 
I'm not like I'm not gonna bitch about it, but that just with with uh, as easy as it was to get stuck, like I got stuck in and out of power power armor. I was like floaty, and I thought I was going to have to load a save. I was really worried that you know I got stuck in the game because that happens. But no, we lucked out. So there it is. I'm just gonna shut that door for now. That that is that is full connectivity. So I will be going back down to the train area and seeing if I can figure out a easy way to access the. Uh, is that a what, what's Codsworth? You're in the way. Something's being kicked around. A bottle. Codsworth. Codsworth. There's, there's a bottle or something. There's loot and you're you're sitting on top of it. But yeah, I want to see if I can get that. I don't see where that bottle is. Forever lost. Forever lost. I don't know where I went if I got stuck under some debris or what. Alrighty, we got a fusion core, I think, out of that. Hey, you, hold still. Hey. Can I be of you can be of service. I have tons of things to hand you. Tons of weapons that I've picked up that are super heavy. Yeah, I'm putting away the revolver. It's a cool It's a cool thing, it's a cool idea, it's a cool concept, but that revolver does not have enough damage to really stand up to the enemies that I'm currently fighting. That doesn't stand to reason to use it. Give you as much junk as I can. There should be quite a few pounds here. And junk. I picked up a lot of bones and, and bottles and stuff. There you go, buddy boy. I don't know if you're going to be able to take all of this. I think you will, but well, here you go, mister. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, I love him being able to carry that much. Oh, it's so good. Is there anything else? Looks like I pretty much got all of that. All right, so let's go this way because it... Oh, I missed the mop. Because this loops back down the way we came. See, right here behind the counter. This is where we started the episode. <laughs> so I'm going to go down once more and see if when I reset the trains, if I can take a left and just sort of cheese it the same way we just cheesed that. I mean, I didn't use my jetpack there. I didn't fly. That was just me jumping. You know, that's, that's well within what I think a game would normally expect out of you. So you can't just go left on this side. And that's because they have those gates. But... When you go over here, there is still gates. Is there any way? Failed help defend. <laughs> really? Sunshine Tidings. Now you remember, it wasn't that many episodes. Oh, God, Codsworth. It wasn't that many episodes ago. Sunshine Tidings was one of the settlements that I beefed up. I beefed the hell out of it. I, mean, I still can't see a way to get over there. Uh, and they failed a settlement attack. I have like 400, 400 defense. So... You can pretty much confirm that the game does not factor in your actual defensive value so much as it is just a crapshoot to see if you win or lose at it. That's that really that really sucks. I I'm kind of annoyed that I spent that much time working on that settlement only to get told no. Yeah, you know, see I still don't see a a legitimate way besides flying and even then I think yeah, they, they you see that they kind of push me. Oh, I made it. So I can just get here with a jetpack, but well, I, I think, you know what, if I can get here with a jetpack, then I deserve the items. <laughs> but, um, uh, I, don't, I don't know how you were ever supposed to get the trains over here, or if you were supposed to get the trains over here. But I ain't gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I'll take my loot. Alright, so this expert should be slightly easier with tumblers today. Or at least the sweet spot should be slightly nice. bigger. Is that all she wrote? I'm not gonna run down there. You can tell by that texture that that is an area you do not go to. Those are, like, edges of the map. Now the fun part is, can I can I get away with flying out of here? Ooh, I totally can. So there you go. There you go. I mean, that's what I would have initially have done. You know, just flew over and try to skip it. But I wanted to tackle it within the confines of the puzzle. But it seems the puzzle was just that. A little, a little silly. There you go. We did it. <laughs> no need to complain. Is there anything else? Like I've missed a few aluminum cans on the floor. Any any of those? It's always fun to backtrack an area and you see right here, you see the items that you've missed because coming from this angle, you don't really, you don't really see that stuff. So going back the way I've come, it's a, uh, it's a good way to see what you have and have not missed. Looks like we're mostly good. All right, so my inventory is pretty good. Codsworth is kind of full, but not completely. Let's get back to the overworld. And I guess I'll continue to press east. I think, I think Jamaica Plains the... The next area, right? Just I think it's just Jamaica Plain. And that to me looks like a like a town. Almost an instance. Kinda reminds me of Good Neighbor. Could be absolutely wrong. Hello, Radstorm. We just get there are okay, something spawned over here. You see that? 
Are these good people? Spot. Interesting, a named... Oh, it's Cricket! What the hell is... Oh, God. What is Cricket... Here, you need to die. What is Cricket doing here? Is <laughs> it his body? Oh, my God! <laughs> that is not how that should work. <laughs> oh, my God. Why is that so satisfying? And Cricket, why are you not paying attention to your caravan? I'm not sure if that was a suicider or... Or what? It, lo it looks like a suicider exploded. Oh my fucking god! That was fantastic, the explosion! You, you just you just hold still, Mr. Super Mutant. Or not the explosion, the, the fact that his head legit just got lopped off and his body did somersaults. Here, hold still, I need crits. I don't- Ooh, a lucky charm. I don't think that was supposed to be what happened, but it did, and I'm perfectly okay with it. I love the way the atmosphere can look, though. Like when you're when you're in a building without your light, with the uh, the rad storm, it looks kind of cool. And it's just the warlord. Every, it's everybody against the warlord. So I would prefer you didn't break the power armor legs that I have. Oh shit! Cosworth hated that. That was murder, plain and simple. Mm. <laughs> Fuck. Well, we ran into one of the problems of having a uh, explosive radium rifle. You cannot shoot an enemy when you have some dumbass who is right next to the uh, enemy. So, I think this was the beginning, right? Yeah. You know what this means, right? This means we have to go and do that little little maze thing again. Son of a... <sighs> the struggles of survival. The struggles of not getting those auto saves when you open the doors and things and everything has to be manual so I think with that little tidbit of knowledge that we that we have acquired and the fact that I know that I can just go over here uh, I, I don't mean this to be scummy you know but let's save ourselves some time get the loot that we know that's here that we know we've gotten before <laughs> and we know it's basically ours. We'll save before we yes. go out there. Because the last thing I want to do is kill a caravan guard that's related to Cricket. Because that's a ve that's a traveling vendor. That's a traveling vendor that sells a legendary. Which we did purchase. But yeah, that wouldn't be something I would want to, you know, throw away. So <laughs> you're you're going to have to forgive me for doing what I'm doing. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and call shenanigans on that one. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Can't believe that happened. I'm not wasting any more time in this area. I've 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 spent <laughs> spent my time in here. I'm done, so done with this place. See, this is how walking in here should work, just like this. Not not what happened to me earlier. So where are you at, buddy? Oh, you might be at a different spot, or maybe he just didn't spawn. Oh, I was a misclick, or maybe he didn't spawn in. I don't know. But let, let's just keep going. And before they didn't spawn in because I uh, didn't press the buttons. If that's the case, I'll be sad. That is absolutely the case. Okay, I have to press the buttons. <sighs> Bethesda, you, you kind of pissed me off some... Oh, why? Why does explosive on your gun have to tag friendlies? They're stupid enough as is. Why do I have to contribute to the chaos and pandemonium? So it should just be press this button. I will save right now. Press this button. Come press this button, and then I bet this spawns them all in. So, just because I did that little tidbit, that really confirms that, yes, this is in every way, shape, and form. This is intentional. This is the way you were supposed to go. And those enemies don't spawn in until you... You see that? I'm detected. They don't spawn in until you hit that switch. It's, it's a scripted event. That's just silly to me. Hey, buddy. Do I need crits? I do. Out there somewhere. He doesn't know that I'm right here. Ooh, there's Lucky Charms. Sorry, man. I have to, uh... I have to light you up a little bit. <laughs> then you're gonna see the doggo spawn in here and that dude. I think, I think there's a doggo. There's at least a dude in here. Yeah, this is where I got that legendary. Wonder if it'll, wonder if it'll be the same one. Crit. I don't know how you live through that. Looking at the crit bar? Like, it kind of surprises me that he can, he can eat that shot. You're not gonna you're not gonna smack me with that. You're just you're just not getting away with that one. Sorry, buddy. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then, and then, as soon as it lets me do what I want to do, I shoot you. Let's see. Do we get the same weapon? Oh, I blew his leg off. Sorry, dude. Nope. I got a different weapon, albeit a, a much worse weapon. Hunter's metal chest piece reduces damage from animals by 15%. <laughs> the other one was far and above better. Wasn't the greatest thing, but it was crippling. And that's a uh, that's a better prefix, if you ask me. Oh, this sucks! This sucks! Not only did I get a lesser legendary out of this, I, uh, I have to waste all the time and go back and do it. Dude! Screw you, Bethesda! Oh, even though it's not their fault! It's not, it's just the fact that, well, I have a, uh, explosive weapon and I have to be mindful of dumb NPCs that want to get hit in the head. <laughs> what are the chances that Cricket just ended up spawning there and I had to I had to accommodate them being there in the first place? Oh, damn. Carrying too much can't run. Well, I think that probably has something to do with the fact that I am hungry. Yagwai ribs. There you go. Nice and fed. Uh, and you know what? We'll drink some water, too, because my AP's been in the proverbial poop ski for a bit. Thirsty, parched. Is that good? Or do you need one more? I am properly hydrated. St I'm, I'm one pound from being overweight. Hey, buddies. I need some crits, so, um, you ready? Hey. Hey, tra trade me a little bit here. I know you have the, the capacity for it. This way I can just go in here and loot these dudes, and then press on to the outside world, and hopefully liberate Cricket once more. <laughs> Did I give you something I shouldn't have given you? No, it was the Hunter's Middle Chest piece. I saw the legendary prefix. I forgot that that's the new thing we got. But yeah, I do want to kill that Suicider. The last thing I want to have... A, I, I don't think Cricket can die. I think just like the Caravan Guard you saw next to her, I think they just kind of sit on the ground. But uh, I don't want all of them to die. You, you saw that one of them could die. One of the guards can die because, you know, I accidentally blew his head off. But... We'll pretend that never happened. Hey guys, you ready? Want some crits? Or rather, want some uh, some shoots in the face? Lucky charms? Okay, nice lucky charms. I don't know, who's here? Who's here? It ain't me. You hear that? I'm hitting the doggo. Wait. Oh, he crippled. I was, I was hitting the doggo next to him. So here we are back to where we needed to be. Let's do a quick little clean sweep because we already know what's here and there's nothing overly fancy take this stuff and go go just really get oh i'm really sad i got oh robbed i got oh robbed <laughs> i no longer have that clip cripp crippling plasma rifle i've got a crappy metal chest piece that i have like 14 of i've gotten quite a few of that same chest piece i think i got the bottles that were on the ground though this time i don't think codsworth had a chance to scooch them around that's good I got I got robbed the legendary, but I got some bottles. Oh yeah, sweet. Well, here we go. Damn it! I tried to take a shortcut. It didn't work. <laughs> I'm out of this place. I I officially do not like West Roxbury. I want them gone. <laughs> Too much time spent dealing with that crap. Let's uh, let's hopefully rescue Cricket this time and not accidentally her caravan guard. And by accidentally, I mean accidentally all of their faces. Let's see, did it happen again? No, I don't even hear him. So it, this this event never happened. Funny how it's just like a random passing of time. Notice there's not even a storm. So it's completely, completely different situation out here. Yeah, that's that's really strange to see how some of this stuff loads up. Well, considering my power armor is really broke up, uh, broken, and we're getting ready to go to Shaw High School, which I thought was Jamaica Plain, but no, Shaw High School. Let's go drop our shit off, repair my power armor, and then hit up that new area. Because we're super close to the uh, settlement over here. I might as well. The last thing I need to do is be out exploring and have the legs of my power armor go. That'll rip my carry capacity substantially. And I really bank on my carry capacity being strong. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to build these big fancy settlements that fail settlement attacks. God. Hold on. That settlement does not have walls, right? Yes, it does not have walls. However, that is the one that has the roof... The, the big centralized building with turrets all around it, that's the one that has the four pillars in each corner with turrets, too. That is the one that is probably one of my most fortified settlements, if not the most fortified settlement. That is just a testament to the shenanigans of how settlement attacks work. Oh, that's saddening. Why do you weigh out there? Why is there a Minuteman? 
Why are they running? Are you for the settlement? Are you coming to talk to me? What's... Hello? Hello, sir. Yes? What are you doing? General. Yeah? What? Why are you, like, randomly here and running? Like, why is there a random minute man? I'm almost inclined to follow him? Uh... Why are you... What? <laughs> Awkward fallout AI, everybody. Awkward fallout. Everyone look, fails, fails sunshine tidings. <laughs> of course I did. Of did course I did. Two times in a row. It's as simple as that. So, I do not think I put down a power armor station. I'm going to chuck one down in the center. Let's see here. Crafting power armor station. Ah, throw it on the docks. That way I can repair my power armor in style. It's definitely not going to stay here forever, but eh, I just got to get my power armor fixed up. Before we do, let's take Codsworth. And please don't sink. Please don't. God. Oh, my God. God, the the robo brain was defunct. <laughs> hey, he's back. <laughs> we gave him the wrong robo brain. Whatever one we gave him, it just it's not working. <laughs> this episode brought to you by shenanigans. This episode brought to you by shenanigans. That's all I can say. Too much stupid stuff going on. Well, I put the um. That one pistol away out of the revolver. I'm not going to lug that around. It That seems unnecessary. Uh, I just want to clear up my inventory and repair this thing and head over to Shaw High School. Yeah, get rid of these mods. Dude. <laughs> Sometimes this game, it never ceases to just amuse me. <laughs> All the stupid that always happens. Uh, still got a little bit on us, probably in the form of random things under the aid category. If I had to wager, yeah, dirty water, gum, irradiated, 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 irradiated blood. So I got my omelets, uh, albeit not a lot, now that I look at it, because I have, what, three or maybe one. Hold on, how much? Yeah, I only have one Yaokai rib. I don't have a lot of food on me. I gotta be careful about that. I should have enough to go explore, but uh, we will need to go back to a settlement and get some more. Either, like, maybe cook up the ones we have here or something. I don't need right away no more. I don't, I don't need that stuff on me, all things considered. Mentats, uh, yeah, whatever. Medex, sure. Yeah, I got extra, a bunch of extra stim packs on me. I will lug them around. Eh, just to have them. For the most part, yeah, it looks good. I think it's just the sheer amount of ammunition that I have on me right now. So, with that said, let's repair the power armor. And pop you out another save, because I don't trust this game. <laughs> Not after today. Not after today. You must... I'm, I'm trying... I'm trying to... I was holding E. Do you see how Codsworth is running at a tilt? Because he fell. Like... <laughs> what did I tell you? This episode brought to you by shenanigans. So this needs repaired. This really needs repaired. The torso's good. Arm. Arm. Helmet. So, legs are all fixed. Legs are all fixed. The torso, I'm not going to repair. I think the torso is the most expensive thing to repair. But it's only missing like 300 health most. So that one, that one's that one's fine and dandy. It's the legs. Usually it's the limbs that get beat up. Most often, more often than not, it's because I uh, I shot myself with my, with my rifle, which I ended up killing a caravan guard with my rifle. <laughs> I should probably sleep too before we go. Can we put beds up here? Yes, I did. Ain't looking it, for trouble, I hope. But you're on her terminal. You monster. That is not your terminal. That is not your terminal. I got yelled at for going through her things. You're gonna get yelled at too. So steal a fusion core. Let's sleep in a bunk bed because we're cool kids. And we'll make it morning because that means then we'll get our uh, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. buffs. We'll get extra carry capacity and our rads will go poof. Oh, I gotta love that thing. Still really, really digging that perk. I can't wait to- You gotta take things one day at a time. I can't wait to visit Sunshine Tidings. Uh, to, to see the aftermath, to see what may or may not have occurred over there. All the damage. Ugh, I can't believe I have well defended a, a settlement and I have to deal with that stuff. That really... I'm, I'm sure there's a mod. I'm sure there's like better settlement attacks. and I, I know that. I know that's a thing, but I'm sure there's mods that actually factor in your defensive value more. Because I don't really think the game truly, truly does. So, we begin our adventure once again. But this time, we pass West Roxbury and we go to Shaw High School. Fingers crossed, though. Uh, I don't. I don't have to deal with no more mazes over there that are 
little less intuitive than I would I would like to agree with. Like I understood the button system, and I figured that there was a way to get the buttons of the trains to go to a far end. No, it was literally just like that simple. It was it was almost overly simple, you know. Did I go to the roof of Fallon's department store? I'm 110% sure I did. But for whatever reason, I have an inkling that I want to check that. Yeah, I did, because it connects to the, uh... Yeah, I was up there, because it connects to the, p the parking garage. Let me just, uh, sate my curiosity. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was up here. I remember this. I Oop. Gunfire. Maybe it's the caravan guard again? Maybe it was a scripted thing that just needed time? Let's see. What's going on? Caravan guard, but... I didn't see Cricket, and I didn't see that named Brahmin. Another Raiders this time. So there goes that Raider. I'll make sure I don't pop a Caravan Guard. Or squish one, for that matter. Would appear that that was it. Just one Raider. What the? <laughs> I didn't do the ground pa- Okay. This episode brought to you by Shenanigans. Oh, um... Oh baby, oh baby, baby. Girl, you need to put on some clothes walking around the or the colon or the Commonwealth like that. That's just that can't be that can't be good for you. That can't be healthy. Oh, they were fighting robots. Unless that's the robot corpse from earlier. Huh. Well guys, it is time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 656. Sorry for all the shenanigans. Obviously I would not have liked to have had to go back through West Roxbury Station like that, but Sometimes just stupid stuff happens. The, the fact of the matter is we're done. We've dealt with it. We've full cleared it from what I understand. And we're ready to go to Shaw High School over here and then press on to... I really look forward to Jamaica Plain. I, I feel like it's gonna... I feel like there's gonna be something cool over there. I have no idea why. I know I had a quest or something that told me to go there a long time ago. I feel like Jamaica Plain is gonna have some cool things. But either way, wrap it up here, guys. Episode 656. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.